is Ez from Get In The Mix. We're here at BPM 2015. I'm about to speak with Rob about the new Pioneer DJ controller that's come out. Rob, is it good? Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna talk you through the DDJ RX. So like we talked about earlier, Record Box has evolved and we've got these, uh, the ability to have plus packs in it as of next month. And the first plus pack is the performance pack. So we now got this performance version of Record Box and it makes sense for us to come with some controllers to follow with that. So the month after, in November, you're going to be able to get your hands on the DDJ RX and its bigger brother, the DDJ RZ, which we'll go through in a moment. But yeah, let me take you through this. I'll go through some of the features. It's the same footprint and looks very similar to the DDJ SX, so the Serato controller that was you know, the most popular controller on the market for the last two years and uh, you know, so popular we made a second version of it. It's the same footprint as that, but it's not the same unit. The silk screen is completely different and designed to coincide with the software. So you get a uh, perfect integration with the hardware and the software. But there's also additional hardware buttons as well. So yeah, if we look in and look at the features, we've got a four channel mixing desk section in the center of the unit. Really robust, really well built. Uh, faders, p fader caps, kind of inspired from the DJM 900. Uh, really nice slick fader in there as well. Going up, you've got your three band EQ, level meters as you'd expect, trim pot. But here's the first difference we're seeing straight away. We've got sound color effects, which are controlling the sound color effects in the software. So we got the standard, most popular ones from the DJM 900 Nexus brought on. We got the filter, the crush, and the noise and then pitch control as well, which is really useful. You've got a dedicated sample channel. So Recordbox DJ supports real-time sampling, which I'm going to explain in a minute. But you've also got an independent channel which the samples can be fed through so you can control the volume and um, sync the samples up, which I'm going to explain more in a moment when we move on to the twin-style CDJ sections on here. So. Obviously, when you're using the software, you're going to be able to browse through your uh, collection using the central rotary browse part when we're in the performance mode. You can hit back and you can jump through your tree like so. And the beauty of this is I've been using Recordbox for five years or four years and I've been building up my collection and building up my, uh, my, my playlists and completely customizing my tracks as I go. All that customization and all that effort that I put in is now available directly here on the on the controller you know this is the same platform I've been DJing out professionally with or not in professionally but out in nightclubs and now it's available on a controller it's it's, it's just perfectly integrated for home and uh, professional use it's kind of like a, uh, a stepping stone now into the into the professional world but yeah, if I load up a track go into a, one of my playlists this isn't my collection by the way this is a uh, a demonstration playlist, but let's load up a track. It got, jumps into the virtual deck and it's available for you to use. We worked really hard and focused our efforts on uh, making this the fastest software on the market in terms of latency. So the, sl the, the, the least latency time <coughs> of any software program. So really slick, really responsive. When a track is loaded in, you can see straight away, because I've prepped the track over the last few years or prior to the show, the hot cues are loaded up straight away. So we've got eight performance pads on each side, 16 performance pads in total, and they can be used in four ways. This way is your hot cues. Now, at the minute, you're seeing green for cue points, hot cues, and then yellow for hot, hot loops. And you can see, as soon as I hit that, a loop sign is indicated on the looping section, and the track is running in a loop. As soon as I jump back to a hot cue, that'll disappear. That's uh, what we call CDJ color which is a setting inside the software. Uh, you can also have colorful mode, and you can, uh, obviously these are RGB pads, so you can change the colors completely. Uh, you might have your own method of having percussion as a certain color and vocals as a certain color on your, on your pads. You can completely tailor that, just like the, uh, the SX2 as well. The other methods of using these are really exciting though. You've got a pad effects one, which I'm gonna come back to in a minute. You've got slicer mode, and then you've got sampler mode. Now. These are really useful. They've kind of been, uh, they're software features, really. The slicer mode was on the SX, and how it works is it takes the audio of the track and it slices it up into segments, like you can see. Now, the section of audio that's currently playing is illuminated on the hardware by this, and it's running very slow to speed that up. 
And what this allows you to do is repeat sections of audio and create little stuttering effects. And it works really well if you're working with vocal tracks. It's like a nice little creative tool. Pretty standard, you know, nothing revolutionary there. What's really great though, is we can take these current eight slices that are uh, currently selected on the software and we can real-time real -time sample them. If I hold Shift and press Capture, it takes them eight slices and it splits them up. And if I open up the sample view on here, it's taken them and put each each beat or each sample into a into a sample pad, into a trigger pad. So if I jump to sampler, I can then trigger them. So you've sampled the vocals, spliced them up, and they're there for you to use going forward for the rest of your set. They're also saved into your collection, into your uh, your Recordbox collection, so you can. Uh, use them at a later date, you can load them up, but you can also use this overdub feature to record a sequence of samples. So kind of similar to Serato's, um, what's it called, Flip, uh, but different, because you're not working with hot cues, you're working independent of the track. You're working, the track can be playing, and you can work with your samples completely independently. All you'll do is hit, hit overdub, bang, 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 and you'll see this will start repeating now. You can set the length of the, uh, the, the section as well. You can have four beats, one, uh, two bars, four bars. You can completely uh, tailor it to yourself. Now, pad effects is really cool because it enables you to use these pads to control Recordbox, uh, Recordbox's built-in performance effects, which you would otherwise control up here and up here. So you've got effects bank one and effects bank two. Now, this is really exciting. This is one of the, the, the things that I really like about this software. Obviously, we're used to software effects. We use them on every MIDI controller on the market. Kind of has the ability to manipulate effects that are in that software. But what's amazing about the Recordbox effects is that they're, they're replicating DJM series effects. If I open up this, hit the drop down menu, you can see we've got like the legacy effects. We've got the standard DJM effects. You've got the, uh, the echo, the delay, the reverb, trans, filter, flanger, all the ones we know since the DJM 600, 700 are in there. Plus the ones from the 900, you know, you've got spiral, some of the really useful ones up there, and some new ones. You've got multi-tap delay, up echo, down echo, and you can use them in a way, really simply, you assign which effects bank you want on which corresponding channel. So let's say we wanted effects bank two, on channel three, and then you can have three effects, all with dry to wet, available there. You've also got release effects, so you can use, inspired from the RMX range, you know, the, the remix station range, you can disable these three effects and also implement an echo or a vinyl break or a backspin. You select what kind of, uh, what kind of release effect you want to set, let's go for a vinyl break, and then when all these three effects are running, you can simply just hit the vinyl break, effects are disabled so really useful intuitive effects the best thing about them though is their software so you can you can really go to town and have it's kind of limitless what you can do with software effects we're going to have expansion packs that, with further effects you know we're going to constantly be giving i don't know there's the possibility for free downloads there's a the possibility for endless possibilities effects wise and if i switch the mode i'm going to use two hands for this but I'm going to hit shift and this button. And what, what that will do is it will shift the mode from kind of like a single, uh, sorry, a chained effect mode. And instead of having three effects here now, we got one effect. Let's go to, yeah, you, we got reverb. And then I've got dry to wet and on. Then I've also got room size. I've also got decay, plus a low pass filter and a high pass filter. So some serious control, I mean more so, more control than you've got on the mixers. And that's possible because it's software. So you can really go to town. My favorite one's the spiral, and you get a pitch control on it, as well as feedback control. So you can really go to town on it. Now, I mean, I started explaining them down here. Pad effects allow you to manipulate these effects in different ways using tactile pads, you know, tapping away, tactile performance tool. So there's a lot on there to really be excited about. It's, uh, perfect integration with the new software that's going to be available next month you can have a monthly uh, you, obviously Recordbox is going to stay the same as it was you can use Recordbox 4 in the way we've always been able to but you can buy a plus pack 
you can turn the software into this performance tool for either a monthly subscription of around about seven quid a month, seven pounds a month, or you can pay a one-off fee of 99 pounds for, for, for life, and it's yours. You also get a 30-day free trial. You can also record your mixes, as you'd expect to be able to do inside software. And if we uh, turn it round, may as well have a look at the back as well. You've got a standalone mixer, you know, professional level bit of kit really. You've got XLR master out, secondary RCA out for master, and balanced jack booth output also. As well as your phono inputs, line inputs, uh, CDJ inputs. Really great unit available next month. Get yourselves down to get in the mix in Colchester. Check this unit out next month. Sweet. All right, you guys, you heard it. Get it from us next month. Get in the mix.com at BPM 2015.